say that I mean so much to you You love me like a friend and help me through So I will worship you in all I do So I That's why turtles can't eat too many bananas. Oh. <laughs> and cut. Great job, everybody. We got 15 seconds. Go, 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 go. And we're back in five, four, three, two. One. <laughs> what were we laughing at again? I don't know. Oh, hey everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and welcome to the so-and-so. Show. Uh, what you got there, Brandon? Hmm? Hey. Thank you. Oh, uh, no, it's nothing. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, so you want to be a stunt driver. What's this all about? Give it back. No, 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 no. Do you have to read that right now? If you must know, yes. I have a driver's test later this afternoon in order to become a valid stunt driver. Oh, that's cool. Like on movie sets? Yes. Oh, well, that's awesome. And, and your test is today? Yes, so please let me study. You know, Brandon, you might want, actually want to, you know, practice a little bit before you continue to study more. What are you talking about? You know, put your knowledge to the test. That's what the test does. No, 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 I mean to actually get behind a wheel. Maybe I can help. What do you know about stunt driving? Oh, I've seen lots of movies, friend. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, can I help you? Because I really want to help you, my friend. I don't know. I, maybe you're right, we've got the show to do, and I don't want to take up your time. Brandon? So you are worth my time. Wow. 
You did all this for me? Of course I did. If this is something you want to accomplish, I want to help. Huh. Thanks. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't just go out there and race. I can't? No, you have to come up with a strategy. A strategy? Yeah, some finesse. Finesse. Strength! Strength! Let's go! Let's go! No, that, no, not the, that. Let's go! Ready? Ready! Set! Set! Go! Go! Right. You're amazing. Uh, you're amazing. You're amazing. Not Kellen's amazing. Oh, yeah. What? It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, hey. Hey, Kellen. Hey, how's it going, Kellen? Oh, it's going great. And you want to know why? Why? Because I got two amazing friends that are going to help me tell the Bible story. You mean us? Oh, um, no, I mean Becky and Bethilda. Today, they're going to be playing the parts of Mary and Martha. This story was written down in the book of Luke, chapter 10. Jesus and his disciples were traveling, and they came to the village where Mary and her sister Martha lived. Martha welcomed Jesus into their home, while Mary sat at Jesus' feet listening to everything he said. Now, it's not written down what he was actually saying, so we don't actually know. But it might have been something like this. Love your neighbor as yourself. Martha, however, was busy with all the things that had to be done. So much to do. Jesus is here! I gotta make sure everything is perfect. I mean, it's Jesus and his friends and they're in my house eating my food! <sighs> Just as the Father has loved me, I have loved you. Now, remain in my love. <gasps> this is so not fair! My lazy, selfish sister! <sighs> She's leaving me to do all the work by myself! Jesus! Don't you care? Tell my sister to come help me! Oh. That's basically what Martha did. She ran to where Jesus was and said, Lord, my sister has left me to do the work by myself. Don't you care? Tell her to help me. Can you imagine what that must have been like? Everyone in the room waiting with anticipation to see how Jesus would respond. And here's what he said. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed. Really, only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Jesus wasn't mad at Martha for working hard. But he reminded her that what Mary was doing, giving him her time and attention, was the most important thing. When we give our time to someone, it shows them that we care. Now, let's see how that plays out in Becky and Bethilda's everyday life. Oh, if I can just finish editing this video together, it's gonna be so good! Becky, will you come play with me? I'm busy! Just for a little bit. Come on, big sis. Well, I suppose I don't have to finish this right now. 
And it's definitely not more important than my brother. Coming! That was pretty great. Becky realized that spending time with her brother was way more important than what she was doing on her phone. She made time to show someone, her brother, how much she cares. Now, let's see if Bethilda gets it. Ooh, I'm so excited about this shopping deal. Okay, sale ends in three minutes. I've got this. Just gotta find one more thing to add to my cart. Bethilda, Grandma just got here. Come downstairs and visit. Oh, Granny! Sure thing, Mom! Yes, that's perfect. Purchase! Oh, my favorite game. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt to just play one round. Bethilda! Just a minute! Grandma's leaving soon! Can't you tell that I'm busy? Wow, that did not go so well. Bethilda totally missed out on spending time with her grandma because she was too caught up in what she was doing on her phone. She definitely did not show her grandma that she was important. Just like Mary and Martha, we can choose to prioritize what's most important and spend time with the people in our lives. Mary chose to spend time with Jesus, to learn from him, and to get to know him. And we can do that too, both with Jesus and with people in our lives. The end. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, great lesson. You know, sometimes I get so busy doing my own thing, I forget to make time for others. Oh, yeah, me too. But it seems like Jesus was never in a rush or too busy for the people around him. Mm -hmm. That's true. Jesus saw just how important both Mary and Martha were, and he took time to be with each of them. Hey, thanks, Kellen. Oh, and hey, thanks for making time for us every week. You're welcome. I'll catch you later. See ya. See ya. You know, John, I have to say that you really made me feel important today. Really? Yeah, you took the time to set up that whole driving course to help me out, and then you, you trained me and you cheered me on while I did it, so thanks. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I wonder, uh, reveal the question. How has someone shown you you're important? Uh, oh, it could be that someone came to cheer you on at your big game or performance. Um, or maybe someone helped take care of you when you were feeling sick, mm -hmm. or or took the time to just hang out with you. You all have people in your lives who are important to you. It's good to let them know that sometimes, with your words and with your actions too. Yep, so talk about it together. How has someone shown you you're important? And we'll see you next time on the Zoe and Zoe Show! Yay! Zoe and Zoe.